For myself personally, I have been treated very poorly by this council. I'm on a very low wage. I have a, the income that I bring in is barely to cover my expenses, my oil, energy, it's all of that. And if you look round and see all of our members here are in the same situation that we, I am in. We struggle every single month to pay our bills. While our management, our upper management, Mr. Wilson being the chief executive, he is sitting on a very, very high wage and he himself will not have to worry about paying out his bills. He doesn't have to look into his bank account and say, can I afford to pay my gas bill? Can I afford to pay my petrol bill? No, he doesn't have to do that. So you can see the, the reason, that's the reason why I'm um, sitting here now on strike. And every single GMB member has done round this palace gates, every single Unite man and every single Nipsa man is doing the same. And woman, should I say, and not forget about them. And uh, we just feel an awful injustice. We've worked through a pandemic without fail, kept this here place running. This is the most, it's been run into the ground. And it's been run into the ground because the council themselves have brought on supervisors, uh, advisors, sorry, they brought in advisors and given them 25,000 a month while we're sitting on a lowly 1,300 pound a month. And we have to pay our bills on that there. And that's the reason we're in strike. What do you want to see from the pension? All I want to see is a recognition for us, a one-off payment for our, for the help with the living wage. And also too, to give us an increment rise. That's all we're asking. An increment rise for this year and next year. And to that for us is a massive amount until the, the uh, NGSC is, is awarded, the National Pay Award, which comes from England, has nothing to do with Amos City Council. This is our thing that we're trying to fight for ourselves, to get an increment rise. And the, the amount that that would help us would be unreal. You know, it takes to the age of the, the high living, cost of living. I'm Neil Moore, Regional Officer with Unite the Union, and we have our members beginning four weeks of strike action here at Armagh, Banbridge, Craig Avon Council. This comes after a series of disgraceful and derisory pay offers for workers who have kept the bins emptied, who have kept council services going uh, throughout the pandemic. And as the cost of living now skyrockets well beyond 13% in terms of real terms inflation, uh, our members are not uh, don't, don't have an offer that is anywhere near that. We've seen bad faith from management up to this point and we would put it firmly on council management why we've seen leisure services closed here today we're going to see bin collections severely disrupted we're going to see disruption in parks and other council services and this is a as a result of a council that is in a massive surplus uh, refusing to put a decent offer on the table for our members this is a council that spent 1.5 million pounds in consultants which pales at insignificance our members pay claim in comparison to that and how taxpayers money and repairs money is being used in abc council yeah and i believe that this is one of the biggest mandates that you've had in terms of strike yeah, the mandate's huge. Uh, the majority of our members are, are out down here at South Lakes supporting the strike today. Unite's membership is only growing amongst the council, which I think just goes to show that uh, workers across the council are not willing to take another 10 years or another year even of, of a real terms pay cut. You know, their living standards are falling massively over the past few years whilst keeping essential council services going. Um, and over the next few weeks, you're determined to keep going then in terms of um, basically until you get what you're looking for? Yeah, well, would have been good to be out last week in the in the good weather, uh, but the rain's not going to deter our members here. This is the start of four weeks of action. We would hope the council would come around the table today, this week, and bring this to a resolution, allow our members to have a decent cost of living pay increase, adjust the increments, uh, and, 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 and fulfill the rest of the demands. Many of these demands have been on the table for years, and there's just been inaction from council management in, uh, in harmonizing terms and conditions and uplifting pay ever since the formation of this council. There's two elements to our dispute. One centres around the harmonisation of terms and conditions right across the three legacy councils and also in relation to the current cost of living crisis. Yeah, and the offer that the council has made to you 
you, like you aren't happy with that? That's correct. I mean, at the end of the day, to be fair, the council haven't put an offer on the table. We have nothing in writing, and until such times, we will remain on industrial action. Yeah, and your members obviously feel strongly about this, that they all have come out today. We have had one of the biggest mandates that we've had in recent times in relation to the recent ballot, where over 95% of our members voted to take part. And as you can see behind us, the mood, uh, although given it a bad day today, is very resolute, and our workers are here for the long haul. Yeah, so you're very, very determined that you're going to stick it out then until you get some kind of resolution that you're happy with? That would be correct, but at the same time, it is regrettable that we are here today, and we would certainly call on management to get, let's get back around the table, and let's have negotiations kick-started again so that we can get to a point where we can put something to our members.